morning everyone it's Wednesday the 8th of May 2019 it's almost 8 20 I'm just leaving for work now yesterday I did a, a another video in French about uh, how things are going and I was explaining that uh, a cumulative factor of event usually tend to lead to depression but this time around it's not it's not mental <laughs> I'm not depressed mentally I'm just not energetic to do my things I have to do and uh, what really blocked me is uh, again financial situation that's what really drains me like I was explaining when you when you run your own business and you have your uh, sideline that brings money my sideline is always about running after customers the work is there but I have to do it on their terms not when I need it and sometimes that can takes it can be a long arduous process to finish or start whatever project they want to do and uh Right now I'm in a situation where I need like some fundings and um, there is work ahead to pay for that but it's just not happening fast enough in order for me to be to make it through. So what happened is just draining me mentally uh, that things are not happening at the right pace. And it's very obnoxious that things are not progressing as they should be. I got some interesting email yesterday regarding time travel. So uh, I was wondering if I had the material, the sufficient material to do my project. Apparently I do. It's in the basement right now. And uh, it's not exactly the dimension I wanted, but it, it's, it's what I'm looking for. So I'll probably use this material to do the project because uh, I want to build a one prototype and I don't I cannot build it on something that's plastic or metal. For some reason it has to be wood. So that's a work in progress as well. So it's soon to be soon to be done. I know what I have to do. I just have to take the time to do it. And uh Oh god. <sighs> So the two job interview I went on Monday, <clears throat> one did not yield any result. Uh, they, she wrote me back saying that I was not selected as a candidate, and the other one I really don't. I'm not interested. So whenever she calls, she's gonna get. I'm gonna turn her down. I'm not interested in that. So I went back to looking for jobs, and yesterday afternoon I applied for like 15 different type of jobs. And um, anything just to get out of there, you know, anything that will slightly pay to get out of there locally. And uh, <laughs> by all odds and miracles, uh, somebody wrote me and saying that uh, they saw my CV, they saw it was interesting and uh, they're interested in me. So she sent me a request letter asking for reference. I did not even talk with anyone. I did not even know of any job. and they wanted reference right away so okay I oblige and I fill up the reference form and uh, we'll see during the day <clears throat> if she called back today or tomorrow but it's it's something that I, I I saw their website and the company what they do and it's something that I could contribute something that I could be useful at because it's uh, it's fabrication so right now most of the job that I'm gonna search for in the future it's gonna have the keyword fabrication in it because that's what I want to do that's what I'm good at uh, I know that if I was uh, if I would go and get my card my welding cards I would have uh, full-time jobs better paying jobs it would be more interesting it would be it would be way better than what I do right now I can't complain because like 
I always say I want diversity and that's what I'm doing I have diversity but the thing is like it's not profitable you're going to work and you're earning the equivalent of your minimum wages for some people in another country they say oh $18 an hour is a big it's a good salary yeah because you live in a non-tax country you don't have the amount of percentage of tax that I have to pay I always remember that your salary go accordingly with what you earn and what you're taxed and United States you don't have 15 different tax off your pay uh, I'll give you an example if I make a full week of work which is about seven hundred dollars 40 hours of 40 hours of work a full week of work uh, I make about seven hundred dollars and once you take all the deduction and tax that they take from you I end up with five sixty-five so that's like a hundred and thirty-five dollars they chew off my pay in the United States you don't end up with this much uh, and across Canada they don't end up with that much uh, take an example I earn eighteen dollars an hour 40 hours a week here my net gross is 575 if it's a good week and in Ontario the same pay the same salary the same hours the guy's gonna make 595 so I'll come from one province to the others they have $20 more and then if I go to Alberta with all the, the, the deduction and everything uh, there's only $55 of income tax so like from one province to the others across Canada there's a huge difference gap Quebec is the most taxed province all across Canada we're paying the most and we're not like after so many years nobody is rebuting that they say like oh who's gonna fix the road and all this but they're not fixing the road who fucking need the government literally like the government now each time the, the prime minister or a liberal like a, a, a political party comes in powers they think that they own the country they think that all the money that they have is for themselves So, you know, you, you, your, your political party that you're voting for, if it's the Democratic or the Liberals, the, like, whatever libtard that they have, just always remember that they don't have the, the, the good of the people in mind. No, they don't have that. Same thing here. They're making all these stupid laws to restrict people's liberties. You, you cannot even build a house the way you want to build a house. You have to follow this code and this code even though the idea of building that type of house is one of the best idea the most sustainable but because they need they have to think about the economy uh, they will ask you to build a house within these parameters so it costs that much uh, they would they would not allow uh, the building codes to make a house so sustainable and cheap that you would not be in debt that goes against their idea and principles and it's same thing for the city laws uh, if you buy a house buy a, if you buy a house that's already made they want to make sure that you don't buy the house cash you can't buy a house cash it's like even though like I save all my life I have a hundred thousand dollars to buy a house they will not allow this you have to be in debt to own a house that's their rules and they make it in a way that you're gonna be in debt for the rest of your life and you're gonna be more in debt with everything else that comes with the house. That's the reason why I never wanted a house. And another thing is, the, the mobile home, you know, like, uh, uh, yeah, mobile home, this is, the, those, those, those houses are affordable, but they wanna bring that to an extinction. They don't want cities now, they don't want these in their cities. Here in Brassard, there is no mobile home in Brassard. The only place on the South Shore where there's mobile homes park, it's in Saint Sebastian, and it's been there since 1967, I think. And uh, it's an acquired right that it's remained there because many times over, they wanted to move everyone from there, throw everyone on the street, and build like a housing development that people could not afford. My sister bought a mobile home. Uh, North Shore and uh, it's not that expensive that by the way she pays 
by age 61 that the place is going to be hers. It's going to be fully paid. And she's 47. So do the math. In 20 years, she will have paid the entire house. Well, no. 67. <laughs> yeah. By age 60. She has 20 years to pay her mortgage. And her mortgage is uh, something like $88,000 compared to people that has a house, they have a house that's worth two, three hundred thousand dollars. They will never be able to pay that house in their lifetime. And uh, a lot of Chinese that move here, uh, two years ago there was an economic crisis regarding the Chinese and economic sanctions, so they, they weren't able to keep their job and traveling from left to right and spending money as they want. So they sold their house, they moved in an apartment all six or seven of them and uh, they stay there for a few years one or two years in order to make it back financially you know those people aren't dumb they're gonna work as a team in order to make it and in order to make it back but here here like white Caucasian people like us we don't work as a team our families they all work they all work apart uh, I'll give you an example of a uh, you'll take that socialism but it's not um, one of my auntie is rich uh, she already had uh, a retirement she had her husband retirement because the husband was on a disability and now the husband died so she has uh, the, the inheritance as well so she every month she probably has 20 grand in her pocket and one person alone cannot spend 20 grand in one month. One normal person cannot spend that. And both two of her sister, my mom and uh, one of my aunties, another aunties, uh, they don't make that much. And she could say, well, you know what? Since you don't make that much, I'll give you $500 a week out of my incomes because I don't, for her, it's gonna be like $2,000 a month out of $20,000. If I was making that much money, I would give to my sister and my mom. I would share with my sister and my mom and my dad. I don't care, I don't care how much they work. I know that my dad and my mom don't earn much, but I would share with them if I had this much money to waste, literally. And so that my mom could live. And uh, no, it's like she keeps all the money to herself. She doesn't share with her sisters. And uh, I find that very shameful because that's not how family should be. Families should work together and uh, they should help each other. Anyways, I'm digressing from what the main point I wanted to talk about, <laughs> which is time travel. Uh, <clears throat> so I know <clears throat> what I have to do. I know where I'm heading. I have all the parts at home now. I just need to find the energy to do it is absent somewhat so uh, I need I really really need to focus my energy whatever little I have instead of sleeping all the time but uh, by sleeping all the time I'm avoiding the depression to creeps on me again but this time around What's fun is, well, not fun, but what this time around, what's on my side is, uh, I have self-confidence. It took me a while to get back my self-confidence and be able to do things. So, on that note, I'll let you guys go, and uh, I'll talk to you. To, I'll talk to you later.